Welcome back. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Africa Muslim Agency doing amazing work. As we always uh, remind you, they're doing amazing work nationally and internationally, many parts of the world. And all of us are invited to support and to help and to spend fee sabi lillahi azza wa jal. Joining us on the line, uh, Brother uh, Hussein Junara, the Regional Director of Africa Muslim Agency. Assalamu alaikum Hussein and welcome back. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. for having us on this morning. Barakallah feek. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your efforts and continue to use you for the service of Islam. Uh, Hussein, I believe you have a delegation in Afghanistan and Afghanistan was exposed to some kind of earthquakes. Uh, tell us about the delegation and uh, the, the latest updates from that side. Yes, Sheikh, you know, uh, exactly on the day that uh, the Gaza conflict erupted, the earthquake hit Afghanistan, particularly in the Herat province, mm -hmm. which is a few hundred kilometers from the city of Kabul. And, um, you know, thousands of people passed away. Um, and of course, hundreds of thousands of people displaced. Now, in this province of Herat in Afghanistan, uh, people uh, make their homes out of mud structures. They basically, you know, uh, build their homes themselves with mud structures. So the homes are very weak. Um, but of course, you know, the earthquake, three earthquakes took place in this area, which resulted in, of course, in a loss of life, but in thousands more that are in urgent need. Afghanistan, already a country, that's in 90% poverty, uh, a country that's ravaged by conflict for the past decades, uh, meaning that, you know, uh, and you can see the pictures on the screen, these are the structures that have been destroyed, which leaves many of these families uh, living uh, literally uh, out in the open. Mm. What kind of uh, support uh, are, you, are you giving currently to the people of Afghanistan uh, in this phase? You know, to assist, uh, so right now, of course, food is important. It's the immediate response with food, uh, but also with the winter season uh, coming in Afghanistan, as you can see in the pictures, it's getting cold. In a few weeks' time, it will be cold. These mountains will be snow-capped. Uh, it's providing blankets and clothing as well to these families uh, in the Herat province. Mm -hmm. Now, moving from Afghanistan to another uh, area, and this is in, in, in Lebanon, uh, I believe in, in, in the light of the recent uh, activities and uh, the, the war taking place, there were actually some bombing in, in South Lebanon as well. Uh, could you share with us uh, the response of Africa Muslim Agency uh, to that? Yes, uh, as we know, Sheikh, the conflict in Gaza uh, continuing escalating by the day, but also in southern Lebanon, where attacks have been taking place uh, in many communities in the south of Lebanon, uh, have evacuated their villages and their homes, have taken refuge uh, at, at schools. Uh, so many have been displaced. So the teams that are permanently based here assisting these families, you know, with the basic essential needs of, of, of food uh, and other essentials, uh, providing them in the south of Lebanon, as well as the pictures you can see on screen, the efforts in Gaza continuing uh, amidst the conflict. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking about Gaza, yani, uh, I'm sure you have teams on the ground and uh, we discussed this before. But tell us about the latest uh, updates from Gaza, the situation. And, uh, and also, I believe yesterday, 150 uh, truck managed to enter uh, Gaza. Uh, tell us about uh, the, the updates from that side. Yes, uh, you know, we, we're seeing the, the numbers of more than 10,000 people uh, passed on, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people, displaced people taking refuge at schools, at hospitals, even that's not safe, um, you know, so the teams are providing the basic essentials, the needs on the day changes by the minute, changes by the minute, uh, you know, one day, as you can see on the screen, this was hot prepared meals provided to children uh, on the street, uh, also able to assist with uh, bread and water uh, amongst, uh, you know, uh, baby formula for babies uh, and other needs. Uh, also, in a few days ago, providing dignity, sanitary pads uh, for women. You know, these families, these people in Gaza have not changed their clothing. They don't, have, they don't have no possessions for the past 27 days, 28 days. So, you know, what they're wearing is the only cloth that they have. And of course, for the young girl, for the women that needs hygiene items, you know, it's an essential need. So amongst other needs, uh, other, other assistance like food and so on, these efforts continue in Gaza. Mm -hmm. 
uh, now uh, many people are uh, asking because the main purpose of uh, of what's happening in, uh, in 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 Gaza is to expel the Palestinians out of Gaza completely so that the Israelis can occupy it and, and have peace there. Uh, uh, tell us how we can tackle that and also and also uh, uh, are, because the Israelis are diminishing the the support and blocking the support from coming. So many people are asking if I donated, will my donation reach there and and how we can uh, support and let our donations reach that side? Of course, we see the situation, uh, Sheikh, where you know people have been pushed to one side of Gaza. Who knows what the intentions are? We pray for their safety. Uh, we pray for them to 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 go back to their homes. Um, you know, in terms of support for Gaza, Alhamdulillah, Africa Muslims Agency has teams that are based in Gaza permanently. We do water tanks. We run orphan programs in Gaza throughout the year. So when something like this happens, it's about extending the efforts, intensifying the efforts. Yes, it's not easy. Over the past few weeks, some of our members have got injured. You know, some of them have passed away. But the efforts continue uh, in Gaza uh, and everything that we're doing right now in Gaza, alhamdulillah, through the mercy of Allah and generosity of donors, is what we're able to source in Gaza and still able to provide uh, families uh, and mostly children and women as well. Are there any particular uh, resources, skills or donations that would be uh, particularly valuable for this time? And how can people get in contact with you uh, to, to deliver this? Absolutely. You know, the donations is very much important uh, to support uh, the efforts that are ongoing. People can go to our website, africamuslimsagency.co.za or go to our, our social media pages uh, or any of our offices around the country on our social media. Are you there? Uh, more yeah. information of, of where different events are happening where people can participate in as well, inshallah. طيب إن شاء الله may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you Hussein for that and may you continue in sha Allah to serve the ummah nationally and internationally. Jazakum Allah khairan for joining us this morning. Shukran jazeel. Jazakum Allah khairan for joining us this morning. This is our brother Hussein Shunara, the regional director of Africa Muslim Agency. May Allah azza wa jal reward their efforts and continue to use all of us for the service of the ummah. Allahumma ameen. We're taking a short break. We'll come back after the break in sha Allah.